apart from computing, uh, apart from finding tangents to parametric curves, as we just discussed, there are many other things uh, to be computed for a parametric curve that you can do directly with its parametric representation. So, uh, for example, uh, and this is very classic uh, instance where working with the parametric curve directly is much nicer than converting it to a regular curve first and then trying to work with that. So uh, let's discuss arc length of parametric curves. Recall that for a normal curve, say, uh, if, if we have a curve uh, y equals f of x with x between a and b, it's, uh, the length of such a curve is given by the following expression. It's the integral from a to b square root of 1 plus dy over dx squared integrated with respect to dx. For a parametric curve, it turns out uh, you get a very similar formula. So consider now the curve um, x equals uh, x of t, y equals y of t, with t between alpha and beta, like so. Uh, then, for this curve, its arc length is given by the very similar formula. So what you get is that L, the arc length, is the integral from alpha to beta, now it's the range for t, square root of dx over dt squared plus dy over dt squared, integrated with respect to dt. And so if you compare this formula, uh, to the one uh, we had previously, you see that the only difference is that um, instead of 1, we have now dx over dt. And so in fact, if we recall, so if we recall that any regular curve is parametric, with setting x being equal to t, right, and then y is the function of t or the function uh, of, of x, right, so this is the way to reduce any regular curve to a parametric curve. So we see that uh, in this case, when we deal with the regular curve, so this here is regular curve, um, if we use the formula for parametric curve, we get precisely what we had previously, because now integral from alpha to beta, uh, dx over dt here is 1. Right? So when we square it, we get precisely the 1 we had there previously. And then uh, dy over dt is the same, of course, as uh, dy of dx, because x is indeed uh, the same as t. And so the arc length formula for a parametric curve is more general in the sense that it implies uh, the formula for a regular curve. So this is the formula that we will routinely use when we need to compute the arc length of a parametric curve. And uh, to illustrate this, let us look at uh, an example. Let's compute the arc length of the unit circle.
So uh, as we uh, discussed previously, uh, the unit circle has the following parametric uh, equation. And uh, since we want uh, to compute the length of the unit circle, we only need a single uh, circle. We don't need more than one uh, rotation uh, around the origin. And so we will take t to be between 0 and 2 pi. So then uh, we'll get uh, for the arc length the following integral, the integral from 0 to 2 pi, square root of dx over dt squared plus dy over dt squared integrated with respect to dt. And uh, this here becomes integral from 0 to 2 pi square root dx over dt is uh, the derivative of cosine, so that is minus sine of t squared, plus derivative of y with respect to t, which is cosine squared. And uh, you see now that the expression under the integral, under the, under the radical, is in fact 1. So all we are doing here is integrating from 0 to 2 pi square root of 1 dt, which of course just gives 2 pi. And so uh, naturally we got the correct answer here uh, because the arc length for the unit circle is indeed uh, 2 pi. Right? So this is circumference. And uh, it is equal to 2 pi r. And since r is 1, we get precisely 2 pi. So it's, it's uh, easier to check that we obtained the correct answer here.